I said, this year, all hell's Because you know the about thing? I think if there's some more names going to come out as well, you know. It's, gonna it's not finished yet. No, no. It's, 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 it's going to get spicy in November. When he said the year 2024, I think he meant that's the start. Because you see, next year, it gets dark, in my opinion. Because the Diddy trial... This is the, ta- the iceberg tip. The, this is, this is yeah, this is nothing. The, the, Diddy, the Diddy saga ain't started yet. The names, who's on the videos, the tapes, it's not started yet. But now this UK thing, <sighs> oh gosh. Check, check. Back in the building. Another episode, Elephant in the Room. Your boy C6. Your boy Dizzle's in the building. We are here. Yeah, we are. And um, It's a different setting, you get me? What's the different settings? Daytime settings. Yeah, daytime settings. Like you come with no money. dilemmas. You've come with just your little red skin face. But that's what I bring to the table. Nothing. No, but this is a joint collab, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, okay. but you know what it is. Go on. You know what it is, yeah. Obviously, when the people them send the dilemmas in, mm-hmm. yeah. So obviously, so if you want to get your dilemma answered, you send it into either our Patreon, our Instagram, or one of us personally, and we will get your d- dilemmas answered. But what we, what I do is I collate them, collate and them, I, I collate them, then I send them to Dizzle, and then he puts them into what he wants to deal with on what particular episode. So then, when I come to the episode, where's the dilemmas? I've already sent you them, bro. How do you get them? talking about what are we doing here i then i'm taking a lot out of what you just did there Go on, then. and the fact that we both know that you're lying <laughs> and the way you were so comfortable it slipped off your tongue so some things you tell me i can't believe so you're saying that, that you're a professional okay. liar so that was that lie. was scary is the whole thing a lie it was a, bits it was a bits whole lie there was so, no so, bits so, so, okay, no so bits. people don't send other dilemmas none because i've never seen one that people sent in so so wait so where do we get these from Uncle, uncles, where they come from? I've got a designated reach that my <laughs> research team goes out and gets these dilemmas. Oh, so they stop people on the street? No, they've got people's stories. You get me? These dilemmas are okay. proper di- real dilemmas. So the people that have sent dilemmas to us, where did they go? To my designated team. Okay. How P.O. Did they Box get to the Dizzle. P.O. Box get, Dizzle. How did they get to the team? P.O. Box. No, you, you can stick to your thing. Don't ask me about my thing. Stick to your thing, my Jenna. Okay, so if somebody was to send something... Like we encourage to the the Instagram of send it to dizzlecomedian dot com. I said it to you. Yeah, Dizzle, Dizzlecomedian dot com at hotmail dot com. Dizzlecomedian at hotmail dot com. Send in your dilemmas to me. Okay, so you don't want them to send it to me no more because they don't want used. <laughs> Why would they send it to you? Fine, fine, no problem, no problem. Send them to dizzle dot com. Whatever. Thank you. That's a, that's like someone sending you a dildo. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I don't box know. You in your to face be fair, that's what I'd box you in your face. That don't sound like. Well, you would, why would they but, send me a deal? Because now, if anybody was why, to send me a deal, it's my based face. on your conversation. Why did you just punch me in my face? Why did you want to box me with a deal? Because if somebody, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> lovely one. Bloop. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, yeah, keep keep your dilemmas coming, man. It's all good. Um, big up all of those on. All platforms, big up our Patreon family. Yeah, we didn't big up the patrons. Yeah, big up your patrons and big up your new subscribers. Like, subscribe, <laughs> like, 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 and subscribe. Yeah, and share. Yeah, like, big subscribe, up. and share. Last week we got an influx of patrons, so big up all of the new patrons. We got a good influx. I'm talking maybe like 15 new patrons. You're chatting. No, I said I can't believe you. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't believe we you. We got no. big up Sandra Grant. She's one of the patrons. She said, make sure you give her a special big up. Is it? So big up Sandra Grant. Love you. Yeah. Trust me. I'll be like cook food. I will. I will I, if, oh, no, I'm not. And we got some. And we got some. We got some winners that obviously f- knew the competition. You remember the competition? Yes. What's the competition? Our names. Yeah, yeah. Right. And and the first Holy person. Can I say something to you? The, the, Holy. I swear. Pudem. Blood. I'm talking. I'm talking. You chat too much. People ain't supposed to just. They they know our names, uh, date of births, source of security. No, they know everything. It's you chat chatting out. How much oh, people yeah. get? How much people? Well, we said the first two, right? Yeah. So yeah, we got two winners. They're the first two. I've gone chronological order, but I'm talking YouTube answers. Uh, you know, people that there was a patron because that was on Patreon only, innit? Mm-hmm. That went onto the YouTube. Yeah. And then put the answer there, 
and was like, just um, yeah. only only patrons will get it. Yeah, but yeah. But I saw I saw, I saw that I saw that um, person on YouTube mm. that did it, mm. and they've disqualified. I don't know if they answered it. I don't think they answered it on Patreon. But why are they disqualified? Because it was for Patreon only. Yeah, but the YouTuber, but they couldn't hear it on YouTube. So that person watched it on Patreon. Yeah, and, and fast then, themselves. And then fast themselves, went back yes, to the YouTube. Yes, just because you YouTube. fast yourself. I know you're watching. Because you're face. watching. You're no, in <laughs> fact, you can't do that because that person has obviously let the page, let the YouTubers know there's more to this. So That's one go way of looking and at join it. the Patreon. So in fact, that person is almost essentially like a bit of an advert for us. Thank we you. Should have them out. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, big you up, man. It's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Even though that was fast, but they didn't That's know there was help. They didn't know there was help. They didn't know there was helping. That was like a second. That was like second hand help. I mean, yeah, but we're gonna take it. Yeah, so we're good with that. Free guy, yo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah lucky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you understand. Nah, but it's all good, man. Um, so, so what? So what? Did we, what's the prize for that? The two people. The prize. You, you're taking for them what? out for dinner. You're taking them out for dinner. All expenses paid by you. No, I, know. I promise you. I said, please don't offer them. Don't nothing. be stupid. What was the prize? The prize was you're gonna take them out to dinner. Do you know that? <laughs> Did I? So <coughs> right, we watch this back. They said, stop promising people things. Stop promising people things. Stop promising. Miss says, stop. Miss says, stop. No man, you can't help yourself. You, What's that promise? Then? What you do is what you do is. What that promise? I know then? exactly what happens in your life. Let me tell you what happens. Let me Here tell you, go. people. Yeah, listen, what happens? Yeah, go on. This will make a good money, you know. He might make a bag today. And then we go and we, we do the podcast. And Tree's feeling like, yo, it's got this bag of... Hey, the first person to breathe, I'm going to give you a <laughs> dinner. Right? And then next week, the bag didn't come back. So he's like, yo, hold on, hold on. Yeah, when I said the first person to breathe, I meant like, that's what happens. I, this, this is Dizzle. Dizzle, <laughs> this is Dizzle. So I keep telling him, stop promising because the promising is good today. The day of filming is good. <laughs> Not the day that it's been edited, um, <laughs> uploaded and released and you watch it two days after that. No. The day of recording <laughs> is the day it's good. So please, people. But I do thank you for for always tuning in the competition, getting involved. No, we're doing it. it. We're, not, we're not doing that. No, no. We're I'm taking just, them out. Yeah, you, Who is it? Name them. I can't. It's, my phone is over there. So, but... Um, I'll put their names in. Right, yes, sir. The two winners, your name is floating across the screen. Men or women? I can't remember. The two, one's a woman, definitely. The first one was a woman. Um, I can't remember. But um, the first two people, it's their times of their evidence there. I'm going to put them two names across and we're taking them out based on you. You can pick the day. So the day you make that bag again, you can say, yo, people, listen, it's got to be Wednesday the 6th or whatever, however it works. That's fine. And we still owe dinner to the previous winner. When who's that? I can't remember. But the previous winners that who's that? The ones that we were supposed to. No, get them lined up because I'm I'm good. All right, I'm gonna add their name. Yeah, there. line them up, line them up, and I'll I'll I'll, I'll book the restaurant. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Right, it's more joke thing. It's cool. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Anyway. So uh, can I can I invite a guest? Can I bring a plus one for me? What do you mean? No, I got you know I'll bring my. With your missus? Yeah, well, I'll bring my babes. Oh, I'll bring my babes. Okay, but are you paying? I'm just saying. I ain't paying for shit. Wait, hold on. So if I add her, plus the winners. I must pay for your babes. And I'm just, no, I'm just so saying. you say a threesome. <laughs> hey, babes. <laughs> <laughs> must be. <laughs> if I'm paying me, I get paid. Yeah, if I'm paying, I'm slain. <laughs> I don't know, I'll pay for it. Okay. You sure? Okay. It's all good. I'll pay okay. for it. We'll pay for it. No, no, it's all good. I'll pay for it, man. She's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. Right, we'll yeah. Um. <laughs> See, if I'm paying, I'm slaying. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah. The internet's been getting crazy this week. Brother. Brother. The internet has broken this week, should I say? You know what? Just be- before we even get into what we're going to talk about. Okay. Here, January 2024. Cat Williams stepped out. I um, said, this year? All hell's Because you know the mother thing. I think there's some more names going to come out as well, you know? It's, gonna it's not finished yet. No, not anything. It's, not, it's, it's going to get spicy in November. I when he said the year 2024, I think he meant that's the start. Because you see, next year, it gets dark, in my opinion. 
because the Diddy trial. This is the, t- the iceberg the, tip. This is this is yeah. This is nothing. The the Diddy the Diddy saga ain't started yet. The names, who's on the videos, the tapes, it's not started yet. But now this UK thing, <sighs> oh gosh. In the name, oh gosh, of Jesus. Can I just say before we even enter this, one more thing. <laughs> do you think here, yeah, all of this Diddy stuff and all this this stuff? Do you think hip hop here yeah, as is like anti women? Like it is anti women. You see, because you know, like now, now looking at it with hindsight, yeah. Calling women hoes and bitches, yeah, groupies and, and all that. Yeah. no, no. But listen to the like calling them hoes and bitches, and basically you're just putting them down to nothing, innit? Yeah. And there's never a real like a black queen thing. It's always a hoes and yeah. bitches or whatever. I almost cause it comes across like you hate women, innit? If you look back, because they were normalizing it like that's just. It's not, it's not hate. It's just degrade. Yeah, but why do you degrade what you're supposed to love unless? Hip hop is wasn't designed for women, and they're just in the background of the videos just for. But whatever. no, music is very, very influential. Yeah, so hundred ten percent. That's been, especially been a, when you're been, young. It's been a plan, because right now it's coming out that there's a lot of this, a lot of a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes. A lot of it's anti woman. Yeah, a lot of it's the. Op- you get what I'm saying? It's I know for a fact that I music influenced me when it comes to women. Mm. Especially when that bounty killer tune come yeah, in. Well, stocky. Stocky. Oh, God. Even if you link the girl and you like the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't play stocky. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. bounty killer said so. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you yeah, get what I mean? slam her more than twice. She's lucky. She's fucking lucky, brother. <laughs> She's lucky. <laughs> She's lucky. Yeah, that's what but I'm saying. You know what? To be honest, even there, there's tunes, like Gallus tunes, yeah? Yeah. From a, from a youth. Yeah. Beanie Man had them. Yeah, because I'm man, I have enough girl and girl in a bongo. Yeah, girl from Rima. Like, you, bro, yeah, do you see that? Yeah, makes you want to be a girl. Is why not? <laughs> UK top girl. Yeah, come here, girl. Is I'm here yeah. not a lot. Yeah, no, but remember that, that that name, girl. I don't know who mentioned Vinny. To be a girl is was a thing. Oh if you were a girl, is yeah, you were like that was. I think a girl was 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 on par with. The bad man. But yeah, no, but mem- right, let me dissect it. Let's dissect it for a minute. Let's break it down like this Gallus business. It's telling you as a man, do not have a wife. Yeah. Go and fuck down the place, brother. Yeah. Every- Gal forget what <laughs> it means any old. Yeah. Remember that tune there? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. You know what it is? This is why when when you grow up and you get a daughter, you like have this moment of realization that hold on a second, wait, hold on, is is does my daughter just get chucked in the mix of this thing, or is does it does it not include her? Yeah, that's when you. Re- this is when enough people. This is I'm telling but, but, you. Yeah, but I, I, saying that what Busha Brankin that tune is one of the biggest dancehall tune to date. Well, X rated. No, which one? Love Ponani, but that Ponani, oh, the yeah. Ponani rhythm. Ponani rhythm. <laughs> Come on. Ponani for me. Me happy. Yeah. Ponani. It's about all about it. Don't wear a tie. If you don't know the lyrics, that's your guy. Admiral Bailey have one on there as well. Give me Ponani. Ponani. Wow. Yeah. Chandy Ponani. Can look for Nani. And the Ponani. See a Ponani. Brother, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's mad. It's mad. But we're just talking, that's the dance hall side. <laughs> but yeah. Um, but I'm just trying to say it. That's like, as black people, yeah. you can't run from it. Because if you don't listen to dance or you listen to hip hop, yeah. you're going to get it it's worse. Mad. Mad. <laughs> I, I do think that that's definitely a big part of the destruction. You know what I mean? Like, women forget love up and, and respect. Yeah. And you should, it's mad that that's, there's no there's no music saying that. And the ones that are, like, they kind of just get shunned, innit? You see, one of my favorite tunes growing up here was Music Soul Child. Girl, you know this might seem... You know that when... Yeah, you, yeah. Blood, that was my tune, blood. But the man in music... Uh, I couldn't really play it around the man them because that's Sweet Boy thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Sweet Boy thing weren't the thing. But I'm like, this is a tune and that's how you feel talk to a girl and that's how you feel... You get what I'm saying? But I knew that I was never destined to be a girlist, you know, when I really got with... When I met, like... 
certain woman in my life and I'm just, that's her. To me, like, I just want her. I'm having a relationship in my old age. I never had a relationship no, in no, my young age. Listen, I'm telling you, when I was a youth, blood, yeah, like, when I first met, she, she turned out to be my wife here, yeah, but when I first met her, we were young, innit? Brother, I was on her, man. Liked her. Like, and then all this gallus, gallus, rare, rare, like, telling you, in my head, I'm like, this guy. So I prefer to be in a relationship than run around, run around. But that was that, so. Even, like, now. Like, I stick a pin. Mm. It's not safe now to be a gallus. <laughs> <laughs> Tables are turned. It's Game's not changed. a safe thing to be, be a gallus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? But back, back then, back then, woman scorned them thing didn't, didn't exist. You understand? A woman would take her this and just keep it moving. Now, there's a thing called woman scorned. <laughs> and it's always, and, it's and always it's been there, but now they've got, they got, they different. No, they got, they, they got the internet. They got the, they, they, do you know? You know? I found out. I found out there's a site. There's a site. Yeah. Please, someone that's watching this, put the site information in this comments here. Yeah? But there's a site that women have created here. Yeah? I don't know. Maybe it's called something like, are we dating the same man? Yes. Are you stupid? Brother, I just found out about it. How do you, I found out about it because I was on it. I found out about it because my brethren was on it. And <laughs> and they, and, 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 and I was, I was asked about it and I'm like, huh? Big and, man thing. I when know I, I ain't been on it. My, my, I was on it last year, to be fair. These times, reason why it pissed me off because none, I was single. <laughs> yeah, but was you, was you mingling? Mingling, but not like, yeah, but they, but then it's the reason. No, but, but my mingle, but, but, but I was mingling like, but my mingle is still like I'm very transparent with my mingling. Yeah, but what people do you, know, do you know what I mean? What people are trying, what this is, what? How I'm, dare you put me on the battle with saying yes? You, you probably are. You prick. Are you dating the same? What yes. I was, what I was thinking about, what I was told about in it, obviously, is like the site is up for just people to put it. But then the, it's not about being on it, you know. It's about the information that comes out, so you can win or lose, you know. Put your picture up. I'll be dating who, I'll be, and then it could be horror story upon horror story. Yeah, yeah. Or it can be like, oh no, nah, no. Nah. Do you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah. But I didn't know that. No, it's not, but it's not. It's not. It's there for, it's not there for the nah, It's there for horror show. Yeah, it's horror. But you know it is. I just got like I swear like twenty thousand girl or something on it, subscribers or something. This but is mad, isn't it? Do you know, that but, should be illegal. Can I say something to you? No, but you know what? What it made me realize, and this is not me like just being this or what. I mean, there's twenty thousand sad bitches come together in one room. That's toxic. Do you know how toxic that is? No, you can't say that. Shall I tell you why you can't say that? Let 20, me, let sad me, bitches. Let me, you can't say you that. You know how sad bitches. You can't say that. Let's, let's, let's. You can't guys, say that. Let's go aside. Let me tell you why you can't say girl. that. Let me tell you why you can't They're say that. They're sad. Just listen. Let me Cows. Tell you why, bro, listen. Moo. <laughs> let me tell you why you can't say that. Because what we were just talking about, yeah? The gallus, gallus, gallus. You was even saying a woman's school back in the day didn't mean nothing. That whole notion has ruined them. <laughs> it's ruined them. So the fact that this they don't trust and they don't like we've all got to but take really part got a group called uh, they, they really made a they, group. They, but then think about it. Think about it. If you grew up here, let's just say like you grew up. Why are you defending them? I'm not. I'm actually. I'm not, bro. It's not a defending thing. You are. I'm, I'm object. I'm looking at everything objectively. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? It's like anything that we go through here. If we were say a youth was bullied every day. Mm -hmm. He's going to grow up and be a fed. Because you can't trouble me now. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? And he's that bully fed. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So we all know that, you know, you've seen the officer and you say he was bullied at school because he's doing the most. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when people bully them. There's a reaction to it in their later life, however they internalize it. So imagine being a woman and just being played on and played on and you're part of every Gallus' story but you've never been the princess or you've never been the wife. You've always been a part of every Gallus' story. So every Gallus can add you to their list, but nobody can't add you to the list of engagements and marriages. Then she's just looking at Bumba Clark no, self. What happens is, what happens is, later on in down the line, when she's now older and she's got oh. more status, yeah. and she meets someone, yeah. she thinks of the 20 Gallus before and says, hell no, he's going on that site. So essentially, society has has helped create these twenty thousand gal that want to be on that site. Because I promise you, see if a woman was in a long term relationship, respected, loved, she went through everything, marriage, boom, 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 and it just disintegrated. She's not going on that. Can site. I say something to you? That's twenty thousand insecure motherfuckers. 
Yeah, but how do you get insecure people? Oh god, the insecurity in that group must be stink. <laughs> <laughs> we say go in the room, you go in that side. <laughs> smells of insecurity in here. Mm. Someone open a window. <laughs> Oh, go and let this insecurity out. Jesus. Oh, God. Mm. God, God, it clammy in here now. Nah, man. I look at everything objectively, and I do think that there's a lot. Because imagine being a young woman, yeah, a young girl growing up in a, in a, and you like Bashment hip hop. And in hip hop, you, you're just called a bitch or a hoe. Yeah. And in Bashment, you're just a, a man's run through. But you like this music. That's all you hear. So you see when the man, them are, you're you're indoctrinated to be a gallus. Why are you indoctrinated as a woman? Think about it. Like the same music that we're inspired by, they're inspired by. But what are you being inspired to to do? Just be a bitch. Just no, be but a it was bitch. It was bitch. I said uh, there, was, there, was, there was bitches in the comments saying, "Yeah, he was like that." And oh, I remember one time he tried to talk to me. I think tried to talk to her. Nothing. <laughs> Everybody's got back backstories. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they don't even know me. Okay, so hold on. See, that's you what, you know, bugs me, not so bugs me. So you sound me. traumatized. Yeah, I am traumatized. No, so I'm, I'm not traumatized. I'm saying, this smells not, like... I, no, I'm not traumatized. I'm just pissed off at the fact that the internet police, they just think they know everything. Because they, they see this all, they swear blind they know my life. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, they know that, yeah, he's like this with the girl. Or he's like, they don't know nothing about me. Yeah. But they, they, have, they, make, they form the worst... Yeah. Of the worst. But do you not feel that? You, I, if they knew me, give, it wouldn't bug me. But do you feel that sometimes you give them that? Because, I don't care though. No, but, but the thing is, yeah, what people have to realize is that, that you are. So, all right, you're not. You are. You're always. You're in character, mm -hmm. but you're not far from the character. That's what they say. But no, I, no, no. Listen, I no but do, listen, do you think so? As a friend, listen, no, as a brother, I'm telling you, yeah. you're 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 in character, but you're not far from the character. Mm -hmm. But so I don't think. Some of the things you say, I definitely don't, he would never do that or whatever, but mm -hmm. your character, you would say that. And in real life, you might say that. But saying and doing are two different things. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I think, so what people do is they judge you by what you say and assume that everything you say is what you do. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? In a and, weird way, yeah. But because you're a comedian, sometimes you push what you say to too the far boundaries. down that road. Yeah. For the, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and push then the boundaries. can't separate... Well, he said it, so we must do it. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So um, some of the things that come to comedians or people that are outspoken, I kind of got to accept that. You know, I kind of put it out there. So if people have this built up thought of me, this is what it is. If you watch Talk and Cheese, and that was your introduction to me, you'd think I was just some moany guy that just wants to fight everyone. But you do. No, you come on, be serious. Be serious. Because I would start slandering your name. Don't do it. Yeah, see, Don't see do it. I'll slander your name. Just but I'm being nice to you. But if you want, if you want, if you want, chuck me under the bus, I would drag you under there with me, you know. You'll be under the other axle. Yeah, we'll both get squashed. I don't mind. If I'm getting squashed, you're getting squashed too. Does that sound like a nice person? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, but I put that out there, innit? That's the yeah. image I put out there, innit? So and I remember some of the conversations that we had in the meetings that we had on Chalk and Cheese in it. And I was like, we were like, whoa, you're the moany one. Mm -hmm. He's the <coughs> this one and you're the this. Fuck it, let's just keep that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after a while, I'm in character, but it's not actually benefiting me in any way. But because of the, the nature of the show, I'm all, I'm in this character and I turn up as the, the cameras go on, start. And now this is me. So everyone thinks I'm this way. So only people that truly know me Nah, that's not really him. People that know you, that know Nigel, it's, it's out there now, isn't it? Everyone knows our fucking names. The winners, they know our name. So anyone who knows Nigel knows. Do you ever keep saying that, Colin? <laughs> <laughs> anyone that knows Nigel, yeah, they know. Anyone that knows you really mm -hmm. will be able to say, you know what? He's not really like that. But in his character's similar. You get what I'm saying? So that that you you're scorned. On your scorn because of your character, so now you're as angry and as as them. But I've never I I, I don't hide my character, or we call it that character. What you're talking about has got me where I am today. Yes. So that character, your, but that's in your that's in your comedy world and in your in your yeah online presence. It's yeah, got you to where you are today. So but it's also got the negatives because it's got people thinking you're this bastard. <laughs> to be fair but then you gotta say to yourself well, I've got these followers I get this money I get this work and a few people think I'm an arsehole 
trade off is worth it. Yeah. Or do you, or you can have everyone think that you're lovely and be broke and have no shows. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to kind of pick pick your poison. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. But yes. Anyway, let's let's address the elephant. It's what, in the it's, room. It's what works for me. Let's just the, let's address the elephant in the room. I know, but but before we go back to that, that it's it's it's. It's what you said about this woman scoring a rarer mm-hmm. thing. So the best thing is to just have one gal. It's always been the best way. That's a new way. <laughs> they want the best way. No, it's always been the best way. It's the it's it's, it's it, trust me. It's a lot of headache, you know. The gal thing is the, is the headache. No, I was saying to I was saying to somebody the other day, cheating. I realize now because I'm lazy, takes so much energy. Mm-hmm. No, it does. Lying and cheating. Takes up a lot of fucking energy. Lying is too hard for me. No, can I say something to you? I've come to that age where I don't, I don't do the lying. I, don't, I can't. Cause so it's best to not do certain things because I, I haven't got the energy to to Conj- cheat. No, no you, you got to cheat. It's, it's energy. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what it is? It's, and it takes a lot of memory, bro. Yeah, that's what me. I can't be. I can't the be lying. Asked. Yeah, the lying is mad because sometimes yeah, you got to think of something. Or because you're lying. Yeah. You might have. You feel like yeah, I bust this one. And then you see, like three weeks later, she will say to you, "Oh yeah, but my mom. So you remember when you did that? You're like, what? No. And then the lie hits you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, um, you you you're done for. Cause it. But if it was the truth, yeah. This is why Judge Judy always says, you, to lie, you have to have a good memory. But to be honest, sometimes you just what's no. the worst that can happen? Me see, my my I've got the opposite of effect. Where if I didn't have a conscience before, now I've got one. Don't like it. I don't like having it. Don't like I, having a conscience. Yeah, because I care. So because I care now, I have to be a certain it's way. It's mad that you've that you've hit this epiphany at fifty, though. At least you have to get lick it. You got at some stage. You got at some stage. You got yeah, lick it. It's mad that you hit it at fifty because I'm like. You get me? Because if because like I I say I care for somebody, but then I'm lying to them, and I'm going to fuck somebody else. That's it's, it's, it's on my head. No, yeah. I've seen, I've been there. So, like, if you got a girl that you rate and rare, rare, when you're checking the next girl, she's on your brain. You feel like a pussy, yo. You're supposed to feel like a pussy. If you don't, then you're in the wrong business. Do you understand what I'm saying? So you've always been in the wrong business. I've been in the wrong business. And now you're in the right business. I'm in the right business. Right, big but but the, my, my thing is... So bit, but, uh, so and that gets you out of trouble. It must be your business partner. Yeah, in <laughs> And that gets you out of trouble. No, can I say to myself, self... <laughs> There's too much fuckery going on, on on the road. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's too much untrustworthy. There's too much crazy, toxic gal and narcissistic gal. They've they've turned the, the tide around. Where it used to be, man, now it's gal. Gal are getting abusive <laughs> and physical yeah. abuse as well, not just mental. They right. financial, physical. They they're doing. They've learned from men. They've evolved. Yeah, but the men have been giving it to them. Yeah, but so, but they've evolved. Yeah, but you can't fucking expect any less. But a man doing it and a toxic woman doing it is worse. But you got to no, it's not. It's worse. Because it fast, what I mean, it makes us kill ourselves. Women are still there. Men, we want to kill ourselves. The, you, the, know, you know the, why? The you know why? Health and suicide in men is very high. Okay, but what what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is this. That we are, everyone's a product of their environment. Whatever your environment is, we become a product of your environment. And if we've been dealing with people a certain way, when they, they're going to be like us. Do you get what I'm saying? You're going to be. So you can't be like, oh, this woman your whole life turned 50 and expect the whole world in, to land in your pocket. Because if something, this, you have to take it because you were dissing for the last however many years. It's the circle. It's the circle. The circle of what? The circle of life, bro. We give out what you get back. It's the energy. And, no, it's, but my thing happens. is, no, to be fair, when you can't talk, go around dishing out punches in the face I'm, I'm, and I'm, never get punched in your face. My thing is, the this is that I got from girls, all the lie that they tell on me and Riri, I, 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 I took it in for the one reason is that, as I said, what you just said, women have been getting through these things for years. So I'm me, good. me get a local piece. I just have to swallow it. Swallow that, it happens, That's what you got to suck it up like a man and it swallow happens. it. Yeah, because it can't. made me it opened up my eyes to really see what women go through. When you got like a narcissistic mad woman, like try to be control and coerce you, mm. it's crazy. You think Ross Clark? What the fuck is this? But women have been getting through this madness from and, and it's been worse because you know that it's sometimes it's been like you can't even think a certain way. Cause a man would. Deal with you a certain way, so you yeah. just you have to play fool, fool. You know what I'm saying? You suffer, but I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to be no super 
hero. And I'm just saying, I recognize these things that happen to everyone. I'm not going to talk about the bad women because there's some talks, but there's some good women out there that have some fucked up guys, you know. Because man have been told, I don't blame all the men. Even me, I know for a fact that I've had good women that I could probably yeah. married. Yeah, and you and you dealt with them bad. Badly. Yeah, but I can't always say that every way that we've dealt with, and I say we, as because I'm a man, that men have been dealing with, especially mm. us young black men who have been watching certain music and been influenced a certain way, and movies or whatever. I can't say that we're not doing what we're taught. Because if 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 we if we were to if we're Im- immersed into this culture, mm-hmm. self esteem for a woman, where does she get that from? If she's immersed into the exact same culture as us, where does she get that self esteem from? The, who's telling the black girls that they're beautiful? Like mm-hmm. I'm talking, like who's telling them that their hair is nice? And I was talking to a girl as well. Hold and on, listen, let me finish one second. Sorry. Who's telling them that? Where they get their self esteem from? But what is like right now? The girls, what's the girls, the young girls, their superstars are, oh God, they got the, the, the sexy reds and the city girls and all, that's their, Meg the Stallion and Cardi B, Cardi B's out here having sex while she's pregnant and doing all these madness. Because but what you was going to say, I had this conversation with somebody and it's true what you're saying, men don't say to a woman that they're beautiful or they're pretty or they just like want to put them down. Seem like with the with the, the dilemma with the with the guy when she slimmed down and rear rear. That's I think we gotta start it's normalizing bigging up our queens. Hundred, bro. That's what we've got to normalize. Hundred. Everyone loved their mum. Remember back in the day in school, a man have to just say your mum and you want to fight. Yeah. Now you can say your mum's life and you lie. I've seen people do it. But what I mean is when they say <laughs> your mum and you want to fight, it's because you love her and you care yeah, yeah, and you yeah. respect your mum. Yeah. So a man should never be able to diss black women and, and we just take it and laugh. No I'm not way. saying black women, I say women in general. No, but the reason I say black women, because black women are our mums, black women are our sisters. Mm-hmm. Like, we shouldn't allow, that's the first point. Yeah, so women in general, of course, but the, the woman closest to you is a black woman. Mm-hmm. That's it. So that's where you start, dance her yard before you dance her broad. So I would always put black women first, because that's, that's in my house. Do you that's think the culture, saying, no, but my children are As you said, the women. culture, and there's been brainwashed. So I don't think... As we said, marriages has gone down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? People don't want to get married no more. People just want to want to live life and have fun. Remember, you see if a girl get her breast done and her body done, you think she just want one man to see her naked in her yard? But why? But you got to think, why is she getting it done? Because she's insecure. But why? I is told she you insecure? because but she why? did that group. <laughs> no, but why? If you, it's because of the group. <laughs> no, no, because a lot of things is because. <coughs> It, remember, you know, if you think the same toxic videos where we objectify women in a certain way, mm-hmm. the only women that make them videos are the big batty, big breast, naked girl. So that would almost say that's what men want. Men want this, men want this, men want this. Really, men don't want that because what we envisage for wives, if you close your eyes and was to picture your perfect wife, she wouldn't have fake breasts, fake bum, long blonde hair or whatever. She wouldn't have... She wouldn't have all that. She wouldn't like a stripper. She wouldn't look like that. Uh-huh. But when it's lustful, or if you made, if you had a music video, that's what you're gonna put in the music video. So we're confusing them. If we had what we have ideal as wives in our music videos, then maybe we would start promoting wives. But we're promoting because the, brother, <coughs> these long fucking eyelashes. They're not like the ones big like that. The big lips. The big like exaggerated everything. Big fucking. Big fuck off asses with small thighs. Like, who wants all of that? Real, like. No, I went to a dance every day and there was some, some yard girls in front of me and they look like an ant. And you couldn't, if you said to them they look like an ant, they'd probably stab you in your face and say, you're a hater. No, they definitely call you a hater. I don't know about the stabbing. No, no, we took it to heart because they believe in their yeah, soul. They believe. But they know why they believe it is because but then it's and it looks fucked. You can't tell them no different. How can you have skinny legs and a big batty? But you that can't don't, tell them no different. But well, let me tell you why you can't tell them that's no different. That's mental. You know why you can't tell them no different? Because when who's in the music videos? Who? So then what are what are we telling them? We're saying but men don't like that. Uh, uh. And then every <laughs> fucking They're not music, doing it for us. Every but every music video would suggest that's what we want. See when I'm watching porn. When I used to watch porn, 
I didn't watch the girl with the fake breasts. You never do nothing for me. It just look plastic. Yeah. It's two it's two headlights. That's fine. That's meant I wanna see that's a dream. That's fine, but that's you're watching porn in secret. So no one don't know that you're that you, what your selection of porn is. That but what they see is if you had a, bro, I promise you, if you made uh if you made a song, yeah, and then you made a music video and you did your casting for your video girls, you're not gonna have the typical housewife looking girl. Walking, just you're not doing that. So what you're what you're saying is what you don't like in closed doors. You're not going to show, but you expect people to be like that. How are they going to be like that? Do, what, do you see what I'm saying? And what you're outside doing, and what you what you show outside is what people see. You just lost me. Okay, it's because you're dunce. <laughs> what that's I'm that, saying is that's you, that's you, your, you, that's spoke, <laughs> you, said, you spoke <laughs> about you spoke about not look, watching certain porn because you you don't like it. But I said, if you, I promise you, if you made a, a music video or yeah. you done some form of advertising, the I wouldn't go for that no more. How do you know? Because I know you. My thing is, why? I so who normalized that? Just having, but you know that man don't really go for them type of women there in the sense of like the celebrity guys that have those girls in the videos. Their wifey's at home doesn't look like them video girls. So, what are them girls good for? I know. I know. Do you know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. In long term, once you know, the, once you know, you know, but when you're influenced by it and you you do up yourself and you go Dr. Miami, by the time you realize you've already got all the work done, look at the, the girl that, that married the Kardashian brother. What's her name again? You know, the what's her name? I can't remember her name. She was like a, a model. She married the Kardashian brother, had a baby with him. Oh, um, Black China, Black China. Once she hit her level of realisation, she went and took all the stuff out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's been there. Do you get what I'm saying? And there's enough girl going through that. That they hit that level of realisation that, yo, listen, the value that I was looking for, it's not in this. This is not the value. This gets me the looks. This might get me the likes. But this don't get me the love. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Now, man will give the likes to that, but they won't give the love to that. Mm-hmm. But what we give the love to, we hide. Why is so that nobody dope? knows what you love. Nobody will be able to <laughs> say, I know what all of these black men or all of these men like. So I'm going to portray myself in that way to get them the ideal man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They see what we like overtly. Okay, I get you now. So we'll be tapping, tapping and watching videos and bare, 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 and front page, all of these off key things. Now these girls aspire to be that way and then we put them down. Yeah, she could never be my wife. Brother, that's all you fucking like. She's trying to be your wife. Yeah. Because she thinks that's what you like. Yeah. So she's done up herself and now she's come for you. You're telling her, no, no, I'm a one, no, I'm a girl. I'm a one, no weave and I'm a one. You get what I'm saying? Mad. The game is mad. Do you think them sitting down on implants doesn't feel, oh, they must be used to it now, don't No, bro. That sounds mad to me, though. It's crazy to you me. think about it. Have that's you like yeah. a permanent cushion? Yeah. It's weird. Because remember, you're not feeling it's, it's not your actual back. Remember, you, yeah, you, you, it's not your actual bum. No, so you're sitting on you're sitting on a seat at all times. Yeah, that's mad. And uh, what about if I'm man slapping? Do you really actually feel it? Do you feel any you sensation? Might, you might feel it on your skin. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but yeah, it's all mad. But anyway, let's address the elephant in the room, young Philly. Yeah, because waiting for the for the page and only only the day deserved to. Young Philly. Oh God, brother. Yo, people, listen, make sure you check out us on Patreon. That's www.patreon.com forward slash elephant in the room. Make sure you sign up. It's only three pounds a month. You get to watch the full episode. All right. Because you can see we've just cut the episode short in it. So if you want to watch the full episode, jump onto Patreon. You're also going to get some exclusive content over there. You're also going to be the first dips on anything that we're doing. You're going to be the first person or the first set of people that can get tickets and they're going to have the opportunities. All right, so jump over to Patreon and make sure you follow us and you keep it elephant in the room, all right? So join us over on Patreon and peace.